More than 70,000 movie theaters across mainland China are indefinitely closed because of the coronavirus outbreak. China is the second largest film market in the world. That means those closures, which happened before the lucrative Chinese New Year in January, will likely result in billions of dollars in lost ticket sales at the box office. But studios don't keep all of the money their films make at the box office. So the situation in China is actually having less of an impact on Hollywood than you might expect. While studios and theaters split a movie's box office proceeds evenly in many foreign markets, studios only receive roughly a quarter of that money grossed in China. On top of that, Chinese moviegoers have been more interested in seeing Chinese films in recent years. Avengers Endgame and Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw were the only two Hollywood films to crack the country's top 10 highest grossing movies last year. So you guys are being hunted by an army of mercenaries led by a genetically enhanced soldier. Look at me. I'm Black Superman. Because of this, some films that already had their China theatrical releases postponed, like Jojo Rabbit, Little Women, Doolittle, and 1917, weren't expected to perform all that well in the territory to begin with. That being said, there are some upcoming Hollywood releases that are counting on big Chinese paydays. Like Disney's live-action Mulan, The House of Mouse has been working overtime to make sure this film, with its all-Asian cast, hits all the right notes with Chinese audiences. We're going to make men out of every single one of you. That's because Disney's animated Mulan tale did not perform well in China. First, the Chinese government refused to release the film for almost a year because it was upset over a previous Disney movie about the Dalai Lama. When Mulan finally landed in Chinese theaters in 1999, pirated copies were widely available. Those who did go see it thought the movie played too heavily on stereotypes about the Chinese culture. My ancestor sent a little lizard to help me. Hey, dragon, dragon, not lizard. I don't do that tongue thing. Disney originally planned to avoid a repeat issue with piracy by releasing its live-action film in China on March 27th, the same day as its U.S. release. Now, that's not going to happen. It's currently unknown when Chinese movie theaters will reopen to the public. If the closures continue into the summer, films like Top Gun Maverick, Tenet, and Fast and Furious 9 could all see significant cuts in their expected box office earnings.